I want also to expound on the why we need to do a census again. I mentioned yesterday about the various uses of a census. And uh, I want to explain further that the data that uh, we are collecting through this census is the most comprehensive in our history as a country. And I had, as I had said yesterday, we are one of the few African countries that have consistently held a census every 10 years. This is the sixth year or the sixth census since independence. And furthermore, we are among the first countries in Africa that is undertaking a digital census where data is live, we receive live data, and issues of quality are continuously monitored. And we might ask us ourselves, why would a government invest in a census? Kenya, we recognize, is a signatory to the United Nations Agenda 2030, which has set out for itself 17 sustainable development goals. The goal seeks to ensure that no one is left behind as the world strives to eradicate poverty in all its forms globally. The continent has also set for itself agenda, or we call it the African Union Agenda 2063. And one of the aspirations of this agenda is an Africa whose development is people-driven, relying on the potential of African people, especially women and youth and caring for children. It is imperative, therefore, that African countries, Kenya included, understand the composition of their populations through population and housing censuses in order to plan for them. And as a government, we need to establish the size of the population, how many Kenyans are employed, those who have decent housing, and the assets that Kenyans own. With this knowledge, it becomes possible to determine which section of the population requires additional support in order to alleviate poverty. Linking the census undertaking to the Big Four, we acknowledge that uh, as the government implements the Big Four agenda, data collected through the census exercise is very important for evidence-based planning and will therefore play a key role in decision-making process. The census outcome is expected to impact the four pillars of the agenda in the following way. Uh, the first pillar, we can mention the food and nutrition security. Many people have been wondering why the Bureau included a comprehensive module on agriculture, which features questions on whether household practice agriculture uh, livestock or aquaculture. We know that uh, agriculture is the backbone of our economy. The sector is crucial in enabling the country to feed its people and therefore food and nutrition uh, and we become food and nutrition secure. And for this reason, the information provided in this module will enable us as a country to determine our potential for food production. On manufacturing, this census is unique in that we relied very much on digital technology. And the mobile devices and the accessories that are being used for data collection were assembled locally by two universities, Mo University in Eldoret and Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology in Kiambu. The assembly process created employment opportunities for many young Kenyans, who also, uh, which also was promoting the Build Kenya by Kenya initiative. At the same time, the process resulted in acquisition and transfer of knowledge and also of skills. And further, uh, we did the cartographic mapping uh, before the actual enumeration 
and this provide, provided valuable geospatial data on geographical locations of areas with high population density. Such information is important in informing decisions as to where to locate industries that can help tap our well-educated workforce in order to boost manufacturing. The census data also provides details of industries uh, that engage our workforce. The other pillar is the universal health and planners <coughs> also use uh, census data to determine the best locations to put up public amenities including hospitals and health centers. The government's aspiration to provide universal health coverage can only be achieved if information on population distribution is readily available. On the housing, affordable housing, the census exercise is seeking information on housing, and in this regard, information collected include the type and location that both rural and urban of our dwelling units, the number of uh, habitable rooms, the type of uh, available facilities such as water, toilet, sewerage, and the type of the cooking and lighting fuels. So data on housing provides insights into the type and quality of housing that exists in the rural and urban areas throughout the country. So the census data therefore allows planners to assess changes in the quality of housing and relate, related facilities and plan for future housing needs. This information will enable government to determine the gap in housing and plan on how to fill the gap. And this way, the affordable housing pillar of the Big Four agenda will be realized. As I conclude, I want to state that uh, despite uh, the success of, uh, we have already recorded, because uh, we emphasize that we have recorded quite remarkable uh, success, there are still people, as the spokesperson has said, who have not yet been counted due to one reason or another. And uh, we still have time, and we are encouraging Kenyans that who have not been counted to reach out to our toll-free number, 0800-221-020, so that they can provide information so that we ensure that if everybody in this country is counted. And at this point, also, I want to join the spokesperson in thanking our partners, the media, and encourage you to continue with the coverage of the big count. And as we draw near to the close of this exercise, our message to all within the boundaries of Kenya is Jitokeze Uesabike. Thank you very much.